Hi everyone, welcome to our next phyla in our classification series, Mollusca. Mollusks are the second largest group of invertebrates found around the world. There are around 85,000 species of mollusks. Mollusks are animals like our marine snail we see here, the land snails we see in our gardens, chitons, giant clams, the octopus, squid, cuttlefish, and even nudibranchs. Most mollusks have similar characteristics. Most have a hard external shell. The exception to this rule can be seen in mollusks such as the octopus and nudibranchs, which have no shell at all. Or squid and cuttlefish, which have a reduced internal shell. Mollusks also have a soft body that we call a visceral mass, a muscular foot, a mantle which covers the reproductive, digestive and locomotive organs, and most have a feeding apparatus we call a radula. Let's go have a look at a gastropod, which is a class in the phylum Mollusca. The gastropod that we're going to be looking at is the red lip strom. Let's go down to Reef HQ and learn a little bit more about this marine snail. Now the radula on this marine snail, the red lip strom, is imagine your tongue with a little bit of Velcro. What this snail is doing is licking the sand to try and get as much algae off. He's an algae eater, he's an herbivore. So that's his radula right there. Let's have a look at some of his other features. Now what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to turn this snail over, sorry buddy, and let's have a look at some of the features that he has underneath his body. And what we are starting to see is that muscular foot. That muscular foot is used for locomotion, it's used for moving around. So what we'll find these marine snails do is crawl along the sand to get to where they need to go. Another attribute, another characteristic that all these mollusks have is a mantle. Now the mantle on these snails serves to secrete the chemicals they use to make their shell. Now that's the pinky part that we can see just here. Now I'm going to show you one cool thing about this snail that sets it apart from the, um, from the giant clams, from our octopus and cuttlefish. Can everyone see this little hook? That little hook is what we call the operculum. Now on land snails, the operculum is used a lot like a trap door. So if they're overturned, they want to protect that soft body because it's very, very easy for a bird, a predator, to come and eat that soft body. So what they'll do, if they're overturned, they'll use that trap door to hide behind and keep their soft body nice and safe. For our marine snail like the red lip strom, that operculum has been evolved to become a hook. Now that hook is what he'll use to turn himself over. Because he doesn't want to be overturned like this because that leaves his muscular foot and his soft body on the inside exposed to the predators to go after. So he'll use that hook to flip himself over. The other use for that hook is to get away from predators. When he smells those predators around with his antennae, you can actually find the red lip strom hopping away from danger. I hope you learned a little bit more about the phylum Mollusca. Specifically, we were looking at our gastropods, our marine snails that we find on the Great Barrier Reef. Join us next time for our next phylum in our classification series.